In the past six months, thousands of businesses across the state have permanently closed their doors. During that time, thousands of other businesses have applied to open. Reporter Adam Recusen looks at the struggle to stay afloat and the push to make something from nothing. It's hard to forget the day your world changes. I saw the news flash come across and I immediately told my entire staff, hey, in the middle of a shift, shut the doors. AJ Williams spent the first couple weeks of the state home order with the doors to his business closed. With new restrictions and safety measures, he was slowly able to reopen Hammond's Gourmet Ice Cream. We're surviving for now. We're, we're keeping where we, we, uh, we can. Through a steady stream of customers and some cost-cutting measures, yeah. AJ's been able to stay in business. So if you compare it to when COVID started, we're doing great. If you compare it to where we were last year, not so great. <laughs> but with the ice cream money-making season over, he knows the next few months will be a challenge. The winter is probably going to be tougher than when it normally is, so that's uh, that's a big concern. AJ considers himself lucky. Not every business has survived. According to an economic impact report from Yelp, more than 19,000 businesses in California have permanently closed. The report, released in September, found the restaurant, retail, and beauty industries hit the hardest. We've lost permanently now 13% uh, of our businesses, about 97 businesses. Jason Wells is the executive director of the San Ysidro Chamber of Commerce. Wells says COVID is having an impact on the border businesses. The reason is just a bit different. It's not the virus closing stores. It's the border restrictions put in place because of COVID that's keeping tens of thousands of shoppers from doing business. Our 786 business, we're talking about 6,000 families that count on a paycheck to survive, that that paycheck's being held with them right now just because of an arbitrary border restriction. While some businesses struggle. I'm pretty busy after 11 o'clock. I think I'm booked up for the rest of the day. There are others in California opening for the first time. I worked in a few other shops in town and... Uh, when this whole thing happened, I decided it was time to just go out on my own and go for it. Take all my savings and see what happens. Colin Duncan got the keys to what's now Colin's Barbershop at the end of March. He opened in San Luis Obispo in June and hasn't looked back. It's been a roller coaster, that's for sure. It's pretty, pretty scary, but we've uh, managed to make it work. The city of San Luis Obispo says from March through September, there have been 108 new business licenses. We rotate through, you know, anywhere close to 300 different flavors. AJ's focused on what's happening now, but says he can't lose track of the future and ways to come out better on the other side. You got to be positive. You got to be hopeful. Adam Rakusin, KSBY News.